Okay, so welcome to Off Planet Radio, Off Planet TV sometimes. This will be audio only, and um, the energies are different. Gosh, what warfare we've been in for just like, well, um, what our friend Robert Phoenix talked about astrologically, and then the energies that have been nesting about different aspects of both our individual and collective lives and consciousness. What we're going to do tonight is we're going to explore the shamanic aspects, concepts of healing, concepts of where we are in time, so-called, and what we have to do to basically get through this cycle and extricate ourselves from the spin cycle of the matrix. Uh, with me is my co-host, Emily Moyer. And good evening and welcome. Thank you. Nice to be back. And our guest tonight comes to us from YouTube, Black Earth Productions, <laughs> Sethicus Boza from Black Earth Productions. And um, he is, I met, I met Seth down at Free Your Mind in Philadelphia. We barely met each other. We actually met each other at the last possible moment of the event. As he was going out and I was coming back into the venue to basically check out. So um, we missed each other all weekend. And at the last minute, we had this, this, amazing meeting in the under the canopy of the parking lot and embraced and um kind of set up the motion for us to connect on another level and so uh, for the first time on off planet radio welcome seth boza thanks for having me guys really appreciate it yeah you know one of the things yeah, and it, was, it was it was awesome meeting you man how how things uh came together like that because i was looking for you first like first day, it's like, where's Randy? Um, and then um, second day, conference was going, and I was on my way out to, uh, you know, go meet up with Mark Passio. He, his band was playing that night, and boom, you were right there. But I just kept sending out that intention. It's like, I have no idea where this guy's at, but we are going to meet. No, we, did, we were definitely just supposed to do that then and there. <clears throat> that event was... Well, I go to conferences, and quite frankly, I don't hang in the venue a lot of the time. Um, I go in, I see the speakers, there's people I want to meet, there's people I want to see. It's all kind of hit and miss anyway, because it's this gigantic cluster of people. And so um, I tend to not be a heavy socializer at events like this for obvious reasons, which we can talk about because you had your own experiences with that yeah. as well. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of targeting, a lot of uh, uh, psychotronics going on, a lot of mind games, and a lot of people in the background that are kind of gaming everything. So, you know, even in the best conferences, that's going to happen. But uh, energetically, I think there's an opportune moment for all of us to connect with each other as part of this, what I will call the authentic community that's emerging out of the flames of alternative media because alternative media is is a mess right now and despite the fact that that uh, you know some people are prospering what's really happening is a lot of people are now being out and a lot of people are being um discovered for who they are and that's good because that lets that gives us space in the room to begin to talk to each other which is the important conversation right tell us a little bit Seth, about who you are, your background, what Black Earth Productions is, and your own journey into the work that you're doing now, which is clearly in the realm of shamanic and shamanic healing. Right. Well, it's as I've said here for a little while on, on my channel with the videos I've been putting out, that right now in 2017, we've reached the end of the great year. And when I speak of the great year, 
I'm speaking of the Atlantean cycle that mankind has been um, dealing with, I'll say for the last 26,000 years. Uh, the way things began for me goes, I can honestly tell you all the way back to, to all the way back to the beginning because of what's been revealed to me uh, via my soul coach genetics and getting into the blue flame healing arts and occult science and actually what we're doing now with, with black earth productions is getting people in the position to, to be able to access themselves. And I don't know what people think out about, uh, out there about past life incarnation, um, get, you know, getting into ancestors, getting into blood codes, getting into the melanin, getting into the, the true knowledge that's been made a cult within us. Right. That is what, <clears throat> we're in the position now to be able to initiate people into if that's what they're seeking, because it's one thing to know about what's going on around us. And, and there's so many people out there, especially in this network and in this community worldwide that know about what's going on. Right. And the number one thing that Lucifer, I will say his objective, it's objective, that consciousness, the dark Luciferian, current is to keep us from remembering who we are all right so the way i'll say i got into this in this incarnation started back um probably in my late teens going into my early 20s i've spoke about the experience i had in the, in the year 2000 uh, when i had direct interface with the fallen anu all of these factions that I mentioned at Free Your Mind 5 when I spoke the first night. I only had about five or ten minutes to speak. And but, but, but in fact, you did definitely throw it down, brother. You definitely wow. laid it. You 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 laid it down that night. Yes. And if people want want a true sense of disclosure about what the what the fuck is going on with all this alien shit, go watch the, the video on my channel. Cause because I lay out all these factions, right? And there's this idea that the, you know, these these beings that are on planet are, are here as our saviors, okay? And that can and that can be nothing further than than the actual truth. Everything I'll say in the last, you know, 15, 16 year, 15, 16 years has been a setup for the true, real new world order that they're, that they're lining up because there's transfers of power going on right now right now in 2017 because they know they know that you know things have reached this point and they in truth no longer have cosmic jurisdiction because of because of the way the cycles work because of the way natural law and and a whole bunch of other things that's that's a really a lot to get into they do not have jurisdiction but because of the embedment because of the brainwash because of the mind control um all of the ignorance and karma, I'll, I'll say, is still passing off on humanity because we are still allowing the ultimate evil to run amok. Okay? Yep. yep. And it's not enough to know about anything. What are we actually doing? What are the actions that we are taking? You know what I'm saying? And as far as what other people have been doing, I 100% support anybody out there that that's you know informing others whether we have all the pieces of the puzzle or not really doesn't make a difference the fact it's just the, it's just the fact that we are working towards something that honestly in this reality field is never going to reach an arrival point because you can keep going and going and going and going and going about all the fucking problems that are going on but why do they keep happening why do they keep you know, occurring. It's the root cause of all of this. It's like we never get to that. We just right. spin around on the details on the surface. Right. Well, it, it all go getting getting into the higher occult sciences. Okay. The first cosmic law is that it's all a state of mind. That's why they do mind control, man. And if we are not the master of our own thought and emotion, something else is. And depending on what people are you know, attracted to or drawn to highly determines what's going on within their, their genetic makeup, what, what grid works they've been leashed out in and getting into the seven chakra system. Okay. Cause that's, that's really where they're doing mind control from the yep. mind itself thought and emotion is directly 
keyed into the chakra system. Yep. Depending on which chakras are running your system will determine the consciousness. Consciousness. So with the seven chakra system, that is at, that is completely astral infused, root to crown. So the so the first experience, say if someone starts awakening, right? Like when people start waking up back in like two thousand eight, two thousand nine, mm-hmm. all this stuff started coming out. Um, one example is you know all this sacred geometry. Okay, what is that? Well, what's going on with that? That's dealing with a specific grid work that in truth, the dark ones, that that that's their system of black magic. But yep. then it's like that, but they had to market it, they had to put it out there so that they could get people uh leached out into this consciousness, leached leached out into this grid work. And that gets into the crystalline Syrian B agenda that I'm talking about. And all the grid works that you know within the astral um that are going on it's it's a literal labyrinth would you would you agree with me i've said before that they <clears throat> they lay down the programming the mind control programming in the chakras that's how they do it they lay down the mind control programming in the chakras using sacred geometry grids that's how they do it right yes yeah. and it's it's the fra- it's the fractal virus yes. okay because you've got the you've got the golden ratio right the 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 fibonacci right spiral right but that, but that number is a number that devours itself. Yes. It, it gives birth to itself and it devours itself just like the aurora. Auroribus. They're basically the auroribus. Right. So that's, so that's a, one of the mathematical equations for what we're actually dealing with. And again, all is within us, right? Everything yeah. in the universe is a mental projection. Everything. Literally everything. Yeah. Everything out in the heavens, the, the stars, the galaxies, that is all happening within us, the planet. Yep. Even the earth itself that we are walking upon, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is a reflection of what's within from the macro to the micro. And then, and then of course, what's beyond. Because the way, you know, creation works, the as above, so below, as within, as without principle has been completely hijacked mm-hmm. by the dark ones. Yeah. And so, and, and so getting, you know, getting into the tree of life real quick, like I talked about it for your mind, that that, that tree is distorted and is actually the, the clip off inverted tree of death. I, got, I have a friend of mine that's completely decoded this, completely basically confirmed what I've been talking about for the last, you know, five or six years now. You know, and I've, I've gotten a lot of heat from people, man, but this, but this man that I'm speaking with, He's literally mathematically proven everything that I that that I'm talking about, it, and, we're, and we're working together now. We're gonna you, is this the guy, in the future, but anyhow, is, it, is this the guy who wrote the article recently called "The Flower of Life, aka the Daisy of Death"? No. Okay, because this article was talking about a lot of what you're talking about right here. It was a very interesting article. Yeah. Right, okay. Right. So, but you know, get, getting back to the Fibonacci, the gold, the golden ratio, that spiral is only one of three. Okay. You got linear time, and then you have you got you got that sine and cosine wave, the, the and the, and the sine wave is a spiral. But the, but there's two more that that have been hidden from us. Okay, and, pe- and a lot of people don't even know about the first spiral, right? And you want to talk you want to talk about the golden ratio, right? That 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 ratio is the lead of consciousness that we that we have been caught in. It's a, it's fucking lead. Okay, they take these. They take these higher concepts and then they want, and then they, then what the sorcerers did eons ago mm. um, was incorporate some of the true teaching, which they themselves don't understand because they never finished their, their initiations, into what they have done with the distortion. This all goes back to the destruction of Tiamat, Maldek, you know, the Astro built. And that's the, fra- that, that's literally the fragments of consciousness that are, that are embedded within the mental plane of the chakra system with held with the, that's held within the core. All right. And then you have the perimeter of the chakras, which is the lower astral. And that's all of this, um, you know, insectoid, you know, draconians, you know, regalian, Omicron shit, you know, all the stuff that I talked about. You know what I'm saying? But the very first layer, the very, very first layer that people are going to come up against if they actually get come into the real process is that layer of black magic, straight up. And if yeah. people don't know the game that's that's going on, 
the, the you're not going to get you know burning in you know past all of these layers let alone are going to start to become the master of your own thought emotion you know get getting into the into the into the uh, upper astral which again is the which is the mental plane okay these are all the fragments that we're dealing with that you know people this person over here is talking about this this person's talking about this this person's having this experience in awakening and boom 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 every you know it's all this subjective experience which is which is completely fine right but what i find is that a lot of people they hit a ceiling and then they and then they get thrown back they get they fall back in the old patterns old ways of thinking old ways of being you know you know and another another reason why is because of the level of warfare that actually takes place because you get because you got the etheric you got the etheric war but then you got this shit going on with people you know in network you know what i'm saying and like randy was talking about just now the 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 wheat and the, the wheat and the chaff are essentially you know being separated now because because they grow up you hear the parable they grow up together and they and they and they and they look they look they look the same wheat and chaff looks the same until it's time you know what i'm saying and right now in 2017 it is time literally going in, into 2018 into 2025 and then 2065 so the way i got into all this you guys was um i i could write volumes i mean i could write a novel about my experiences i think though what matters most out of all of that the initial experience was when i made connection with what i term creator source okay and after this happened, I realized that everything that I knew since I was a kid was was going to start to be revealed, and and it did slowly, you know, because you can only take so much. And when I when I talk about creator source, there's this idea out there, especially you know with the new age teaching that's that's going on. Everybody talks about this bliss, right? This bliss, this bliss energy, the bliss of you know the the ascended masters or or the guides or whatever right and that energy is literally there as an anesthetic to give yeah. people the illusion that they're having a quote-unquote godly experience when they're being leashed out into these grid works by these fallen yeah it's an anesthetic for leash leash harvesting right. basically yeah. yeah right right and then and then and then they trade off their their energy for this energy and then that that's how they slowly you know get siphoned their consciousness gets altered and then they become then they become a, a pawn for the for these uh you know agendas that are going on now when it comes to the energy of creator source that that energy and consciousness is unbelievably pure raw infallible and once you actually experience it and tap it it will purge you the fuck out, man. It will like if there's any toxic layers going on, you are in the Athenor. You are in the Athenor experience, right? And that's why I call my channel Black Earth Productions, because that's the first stage of alchemy is the blackening, where you go into the Athenor, where you go into that experience of calcination, where all of the all of the layers uh, that that we are not, that the false ego via the shadow has attached itself to right that's that all starts to get burned up and unfortunately is where a lot of people turn back because then you know it's like the they, the idea of who they thought they were is no longer present and that's a real scary fucking thing it's like who am i and that's the ultimate question who are you who are we really what's really going on you know and getting into shamanism and what, and what you know, true shamanism is, I mean, they, they, they wiped out the shamans, man. Why did they wipe us out? Why did they wipe out my ancestors? You know, because we held the secrets to the keys to be able to travel the worlds at will. We're here in, in the third dimension, we're on lockdown. And this, this, this eventually, on the highest level, we're going to take our physicality with us. But we haven't reached that point. And that's why, again, like I'm saying, there's no arrival point, not yet. Because we, because people still haven't got their minds right. They have, they're, they're still not the master of their, 
of their thought and emotion. And then they want to go study the occult. And then they want to go study all of this crazy stuff. It's, it's overwhelming, I think, for a lot of people, right? And then the fear programming kicks out. And then, of course, you know, depending on what or where people have been, all of this stuff is going to start getting kicked out. And there's a lot of what I see, you know, going on, um, especially when, when um, you know, clients, you know, hit me up for session, you know, students, all the things that they're going through, they're going through this initiation process of learning to remember who they really are. You know what I'm saying? And so that, that's really uh, the core essence of, of Blue Flame Healing Arts. And then, of course, getting into the higher cult sciences. And, and then it's like, okay, once you, you know, know how your thought and emotion work, you know, what do you do with it? You know what I'm saying? Because we have these gifts and talents. But is it being directed by all this programming? Or are, is our thought and emotion and our beingness being directed by a true core essence? You know, and getting in there and being being able to discern, you know, what's going on. And so there's a lot of things that have led up to these present moments. You know? I want to go back for a minute to your encounter with source creator. Um, I had what you would call the dark night of the soul experience back in 2009. And it was at a time when I was doing Christian radio, you and I've talked about this. And this was, this was literally the threshing floor, which was oddly enough, the name of the radio program that I was doing. <laughs> it was also the purging fire. It right. was not pretty. It was not comfortable, but it was not a psychotic break. And, and I can say that with some authority because I've gone through that. But what I remember about it most <clears throat> was the sense of being reflected back to me a pure image than I had of myself, while at the same time watching all of this stuff being taken off of me. It was literally a purging fire. Was your sense of this as well, that while it was uncomfortable, it was extremely disturbing? In the midst of it, it was like when you get to the center of the flame and you have the blue flame. You know, the yellow, the red flames, but you get to the center of that blue flame and there's a presence there that actually is the still small voice. Can you, can you speak to that a little bit about your experience? Because I've never really had a chance to talk to anybody about this before. Right. You know, and the unfortunate thing with religion, especially, especially the, the religion of Christianity, which Mark Passio is, is about to, uh, you know, give a very intense dissertation on, you know, with his fake-ass Christians yes. coming up. Um, the unfortunate thing with religion is that well, especially with Christianity, like I'm getting at, they stole everything, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to the true power of the, of the energy force, I'll say itself, let alone what, you know, where its origin, you know, hails from, the way we access it is, is by going, you know, into the core of who we are. That's, that's why you hear the whole axiom, know thyself and you shall know the universe, right? And people want to attribute this to, you know, Crowley or, or you know, or, or whoever, you know, and when in truth, this, this, is, this is far, 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 far more ancient than even the timelines that they're putting it on. Okay. And, and, no, and no man or woman can claim truth as their own. You cannot claim, you know, it's like, like with the new age, with the whole postmodern uh, ideology. Well, this is my truth. And that's your truth. You can have your truth, and this is my truth. But they completely contradict one another. How is that truth? Truth is what reconciles everything. Okay? <clears throat> and it confirms itself again and again and again. It, all, it always has, in my experience. Now, whether reconciliation, I'll say, happened with me is when 
I went through this experience of having to burn initially through um, the bloodline genetics that I incarnated into via my, my father's bloodline and my mother's bloodline, which by the way, both fucking sides are, are very, very highly satanic, you know, getting, getting into masonry, getting into, you know, the order of the mystic shrine, um, Scottish rights, you know, police force, military. Yep. Okay. All of that stuff. I got that yeah. too. Yeah. And so having to go into that and when it happened to me, I, I, it, it happened all on its own. It was self-actualized within me on, on a, on a much deeper level than my own conscious thought and emotion could understand at the time. And it literally threw me into hell. It threw me into the, in, into all of that. And that, and that's what I had to face. And that's what I had to burn through. And that, and looking at it now, looking at it now, you guys, I, I've realized that that is a part of what I, you know, agreed to. Cause you could, you come and you want to incarnate and you're, say, you know, essence and consciousness that's, that's from beyond the barrier, that, you know, someone that holds the original template, like my kind do, all right, you're going to come up against all this, all this kind of stuff. And other people out there have experienced too. But when I made that connection, after I, after I made it through all that experience, when I made that connection, I, I knew that I was connecting to the real. It was undeniable. It is still undeniable, even right this moment. Now, do I experience what I did? In, in, that, in that moment all the time? No, because I've gone through this initiation process again and again and again, the alchemical process again and again and again, depending on what's going on. Because a lot of people, man, they want that one weekend retreat or, you know, they want that seminar and then they're good for two, for like a couple weeks or like a week. And then, and then it's on to the next one. And then that becomes an addiction. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where is the true teaching? you know, out there that, that is really giving people the experience of this power, trans, the, the power to literally transform your, your own thought and emotion. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it all comes back to that, making that connection. And when you connect to it, when I say creator source, you are connecting to the true core essence of who you are as well, because we are here as expression. And going back to the whole idea of know thyself we are here so that creator source can know itself as well see how that works know thyself and you will know the universe right it's um it's getting back to that you know now now in 2017 the the, the ancient blood code genetics of uh the atlantean wisdom councils i'll say also the dark priesthoods or being activated now, starting now in 2017. That's why a lot more people are coming out and they're, they're getting into these sorts of things. And, and you can see people's process. And then, so you have the, you have the shamans, right? <clears throat> you have the, you know, people that, that came into those bloodlines and incarnated into those bloodlines. And ironically, a lot of the same experiences that we have had are the, is, is what's going on with the, the secret space program shit or the, the targeted individuals or the super soldiers or, or all this kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because when you get into soul regression, um, I've heard reports about a shaman that was doing soul regression with, with a young girl and she, she like went into this vision with her or something. I, I'm, I'm trying to remember the story how it goes. But what ended up happening, she opened this door and then she saw Zeta Gray on the other side of the door. And they were, and, then, and immediately they saw her and they were like, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Right? So shaman is shamanism, you know, the, the magus, the magician. The magician was able to travel the worlds, right? He started out as a fool, but then he became an initiate. He became a magician getting into the archetypes of the tarot it's the fool card which is the soul card and then what's this what's the first card is the magician yeah that's when you become the initiate and then and then you know learning about the elements the the, the the laws of nature the laws of the universe where is that being taught where is that being offered you know to people there are schools out there and i'm in network with you know a few colleges you know what i'm saying but none of this is a joke man you know because because once the process takes you it takes you, but it's all for the purpose of, of getting you back into the core, true core essence of, of, 
of, of you know, who you are. You know, creator source wants us to reach our highest potential. It doesn't want us to be slaves. It doesn't want us to be burdened down. It doesn't want us to be, you know, in, in pain and suffering, you know, in fear of, you know, this or that, or, you know, how am I going to eat? How am I going to pay the bills? All, all the stuff that the mundane world and all the distractions out there are literally set up to suck the life force out of us, right? And yeah. it happens every day. That's what it's all designed to. And it doesn't matter what it looks like, just as long as we don't remember who we are. That is, that is the dark Luciferian agenda yeah. at its core so that we don't take this reality field back. But it's, you know, and people want to like, you know, per, you know, stop this or they want to, you know, go march on Washington or they want to, <laughs> you know, whatever. But when, when really the way we win, the way we win is by detaching from it, letting it fucking rot discovering who the fuck yeah. we are anymore and then coming That's together it. with that potential. Yep. Otherwise it's going to, it's just going to go on and on and on, you know, and people and people have their process, you know what I'm saying? But this is what's happening now in 2017, as far as what has been revealed to me and my inner circle and what we're focused on and what we're working to promote, you know, and people can take it or leave it. You know, this isn't event. This isn't like some evangelism thing, you know, because again, this process has to come from a place of being self-actualized within the individual, you know? And, but if any of this does resonate with people out there, you know, what we're doing and, and other people in our, in our circle, you know, and this, this is a worldwide networking now, you know what I'm saying? Worldwide, world fucking wide. Now, now I'm talking to you guys. Okay. What's going to happen from this? Is it going to, is it going to go into the drama? Is it going to go into the, into the fucking bullshit like it like it has been no i don't think so everything you've said so far really does kind of gel with the direction that we've been going for you know a long time um in terms of the shamanic you're probably more versed in in the arts of this than myself in terms of esoteric knowledge and things like that i've kind of been I've kind of been the inner voyager in terms of my own experiences and my own sense of where this leads without a whole lot of, I would say, formal, formal, formal lore and formal ritual or teaching. You know, those, there have been those intervals in my life when I've encountered beings who passed on certain key aspects. A lot of my life has just been healing from the early part of my life, which was, you know, it was enough. It was enough to deal with. But it also was because gateways were opened up in me as well. And I think that's true. Emily would agree with that. And I think a lot of the people in our particular sphere would say the same thing that, you know, we basically were, we're all coming at this from different tangents but at the same time i think we're, we're we're heading in a similar direction so i'll redirect back to you in terms of what do we need to know in terms of the lure the shamanic lure the shamanic practices rituals initiations because again we're dealing we're dealing with the language which has been appropriated by the dark side. The idea of an initiation yeah. is considered to be occultic, dark occultic. It's, it's, it's associated with secret societies, um, Illuminati inner groups, generally practicing dark arts, um, sacrifice, uh, sex magic, and things like that. Whereas I suspect that what you're talking about is a pure form that doesn't have all of that, that, that carnal baggage on it. Exactly. And the, and the goal is to take it back to the original intention of the wisdom councils that, that I get into and uh, my video, the Jedi, the coats of the Narmango. And this, this is going back 550 million years, man. Okay. Now, how do we know that? I mean, how do we... Based upon my research okay. and the things that, I, that I've looked into um, in reference to Kelantic science and a lot of other um, occult references, man. It's, 
you know, I don't, I don't expect anyone just to take my word for it. And really, and really, it, it, it really doesn't matter because what we do now in, in this hour is, is, is what truly we need to be focused on because people can argue the past. You can, you, you know, but again, going back to what I was talking about, we're, we're working with fragments here. Okay. What, what was the original? Right, right. I agree with you on that. Now, I was not challenging you on that. I just, oh, yeah, I yeah, know that's cool, man. I'm just saying what, what it, needs to come back to is the original uh, true essence of what all of this really means and the dark ones the dark factions they stole everything man you know and 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 it's like i was saying they didn't even finish their 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 initiations you know and and ended up you know wiping out you know the count the councils of moon the, the the councils of war okay um Great wars happen, and this has been going on, you know, for eons. And you know, take it back to to the story that that you know of the Gospels. What is that actually talking about? The war between the between the the, the Magi shaman and and the sorcerers. Okay, but and you know, in the timeline that they put that shit on, it's it's not the actual timeline. Right. But it's right. playing yeah. upon. But but this religion is playing upon those codes, which perpetuates this cult of Dagon. I'll say to keep on doing what they're doing. Okay. On the highest level with the Vatican, you know what I'm saying? And then you got all the other factions. You got the, you know, Talmudic, you know, Zionists. I mean, there's just so many, you know, that 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 want to be in control of, of the planet, right? And then humanity's caught in the middle. But really what's going on, it's the war between the magicians and the sorcerers, but even the sorcerers are at war with themselves. You know what I'm saying? And there's not that, and there's not enough people that, that are that are tapping into the into the real true essence of what we are to even get to the level of being able to, you know, battle, you know, on an astral battle level. Okay. We can't even deal with what's going on in 3D. How are we going to be able to deal with this? You know what I'm saying? Because because physical reality holds precedence over all the realms. You could you can know about what's going on. But unless we become the master of our thought and emotion, which is the first cosmic law, and the first, very first place I, I, I put people into you know, practice with, with drawing the circle of the magician, okay, is learning how to master their thought and emotion. I can't even, I can't even get into all the other stuff until they've reached a certain level of this. You know what I'm saying? Because when, when that power is coming, and you're in the fulcrum, man, and you're in the circle, and the, and the power of creator source is coming down, burning up all this stuff. That's where you learn to master it. That, and, you, and you spend time with it alone, away from, you know, all this, all this stuff that's going on. So, it does, so what it does come back to, Randy, it does come back to a personal gnosis. It does come back to a very subjective personal practice that the individual undertakes themselves. It's not like a group or a hierarchy. You know, like like with the dark ones and their initiates, and then they dangle some knowledge in front of them, and then they gotta take some fucking blood oath, you know, to to <clears throat> go to the next level, you know, and then and then they're evoking and invoking, you know, uh, these Klopothian hierarchies, man. You know, I mean, just take take your pick with it, but it's it's all the same in the end because they themselves don't understand the secret of what they stole. They only pretend to. Because if they were actually to obtain the true secrets of what they claim to know, they wouldn't be doing what they're doing. Yeah. At all. At all. It's almost period. like Aladdin's lamp as a as kind of a, a, a fable <laughs> analogy there, where okay. somebody walks away with something they don't understand and they unleash powers that they can't control. It's like Pandora's box, man. Yeah, good one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no. Any, any, for my own personal experience, which again, like Randy said, is, is very different than yours. My background doesn't involve a lot of religion or lore or anything like that, but I've been going through my own version of those kinds of processes. And the only, um, to me, any kind of inner gnosis only comes from a deep personal self examination, self uh, inner dialogue. And, you know, going there and sort of being there with yourself and having to look at all aspects of yourself and try and sort of 
uh, connect back to that, you know, original thing that we were before all of this overlaid crap got put onto us, before our genetics were degraded, before, you know, we had all of this um, uh, debris, you know, in our field that, is, you know, makes things very unclear. And that can be uh, going to that place and working on yourself. There can be a difficult process. And it's not one that is met with any kind of um, approval or seal of achievement or anything from anyone outside of yourself. And people, for some reason, feel that they need to have, they need to be told, you've done it right, or that's good, or whatever. And this process is not, that's not how, how this goes. This is something that you do with inside yourself, with yourself. And, you know, it has to be an inner knowing. It can't be something that is... Uh, you know, approved from the outside. Right. At the same time, I, I, I 100% agree with everything you're saying. At the same time, though, truth is always going to confirm itself. Sure. Even right now in, the, in this conversation, truth is confirming everything that, that we're saying, you know. And so, yeah, right now people need to decide because I, because I talked about this last year. I said, well, within the next two years, going into 2025, everything's going to be unveiled. And it's, it's going to happen. It's, it's pretty redundant now, I think, as far as everything that, that, that's going on, especially on a geopolitical level. Like, how the fucking hell do people not see this yet? Okay? And I don't know if it's the generation before mine. I don't know if it's the baby boomers, man. You know what I'm saying? But... But it's like it's like our generation. I'm in I'm in my late thirties, man. My queens and you know, you know, we're the, we're the same age, and the the transfers of power that are going on with the dark ones, the same things happening now because there's been those at the forefront for quite a while now. But it's like all meant to to, to you know, it's like leading up to this point. Okay, now what are we gonna are we gonna regurgitate what we spoke about? Back, back, you know, five years ago, are we still having the same issue? Okay, well, if that's the case, well, let's go back and re-examine that. You know, things need to be, you know, gone over again and again as much as they need to so that people can advance. You know what I'm saying? But oftentimes, I, 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 I find that, that people are pulled into these feedback loops when they want to advance, when they actually want to get beyond everything, but they don't know where to go. It's like, okay... I've looked into this, I've looked into that, and, and just after a while, it becomes redundant. You know? Okay, what next? Well, there has isn't been no hard commitment individually or society. I said there's, there's been no hard commitment individually or societally for the advancement of the soul. Our culture right. <laughs> was woven around a three-dimensional myth the, the 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 answer to what happened to the baby boomer generation is it was a generation of promise that squandered their promises very quickly in the 1960s right they yeah. basically were co-opted they ran intelligence operations against the aquarian cusp of the spear that was coming in everything was co-opted it, it 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 took something that at one point was quite beautiful and turned it into something quite horrible in a decade. And that generation squandered what little they got from it because they were no better. In fact, they were worse than their parents because their parents didn't come into the spiritual essence that came with the emanations of that ray at that time. Hmm. Our parents, my parents, the people who grew up through the Depression, the Second World War, the Korean War, were hardwired to a certain mode of life, which was materialism. Our generation was basically inclined to reject that. And yet, in the end, our generation embraced materialism at a level that our parents never dreamed of. We literally spent two (laughs) generations worth of wealth in one generation. Yeah. And when I say wealth, I'm not talking about the money here or the material aspect. I'm talking about the spiritual wealth that was stored up that was supposed to have been unleashed. For me, <clears throat> having grown up at the tail end of that period, it was shocking, disorienting, 
and left me with, <laughs> you know, I, that's actually been where I've been for most of my life is trying to make sense out of what happened historically in that period. Right. I have a friend of mine whose father is Doug Ingle. Doug Ingle is the lead singer of Iron Butterfly. I know who that is. I have yeah. all their records. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. I know, I know, Doug, I know Doug Ingle's son. Okay. okay. So he's, he, he was a close friend of mine back when I lived in Washington, Washington State. Um, and he gave me the lowdown of what actually happened. Now, there's, there's a book uh, I recommend people reading in context. It's called The War on Rock. And this is, this is when the um, intelligence agencies and all the stuff that they, they came in and, and they raked out all these fucking bands, you know, for this experiment. Yeah. And it worked. Doug Ingle said, fuck that shit. All right. And at the time, at the time, they, they, they were bigger than Zeppelin. Okay, Zeppelin was opening for... They were the what? forerunners of Led Zeppelin. They yes. were the first band that you could truly call, even by virtue of their name, heavy metal. Iron Butterfly. You know? Exactly. <laughs> and so what happened, though, with what's been revealed to me, it was a giant, nothing more than a giant energy harvest. You know, all that, all that free love, all, the, all that yep. LSD... And what happens when you do hallucinogens? If people want to quick, if people want to quick start their evolution, just do some hallucinogens. It's going to shoot you straight into the astral. You want an astral experience? Take some goddamn LSD or some ayahuasca or whatever. Okay, but I need to tell you that what you're going to experience is the lower astral. You're not tapping into anything that's beyond anything that's the lockdown. I'm sorry, man. You're just not. And and so. You know, and I'm not necessarily against that. You know what I'm saying? Because I have had good experiences with, with uh, psilocybin, I'll say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, I, but a true shaman, a true shaman doesn't need that. You can go, you can travel the fucking worlds. And I can. And I've been given access. I've, I've seen these gatekeepers. I've, I've had, you know, uh, interface and, and confrontations, man. I mean, shit. Is, it, it, it gets crazy, but again, it all comes back to a completely subjective experience. You know what I'm saying? Are other people experiencing this? I have no idea. Well, this kind of goes into something that we've talked about for a while between ourselves and on the show, is that the drug scene itself, while there is, and I would agree, there's some value in that. Um, I like mushrooms um, occasionally, but... Emily and I have been discussing for quite a while that a lot of the drugs, especially the chemical drugs, are programmed, right. which is no different. When you say program, you're talking spells here. You know, yep, people need spells. to understand that intelligence agencies are basically secret yeah, society. You've got, you got black magicians in the lab making them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, 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 it's programmable matter. They're charging their own ideas yeah. and intentions into it. So it's gotten to the point where, like, where it used to be that they would use LSD is part of the experiments with MKUltra. They are now putting the mind control into the drugs, essentially. And in fact, I think they even were back then. then. Yeah. I mean, you know, just if you just look at the evolution of the whole scene and who was behind it and what happened as a result of it, it's very clear to me that they understood right from the beginning, from the time that um, LSD came out of Sandoz Laboratories and with Albert Hoffman, that they had a vessel for something that could be used for a cultural revolution. And it wasn't the revolution that was organically supposed to happen. It was the revolution that they programmed into the drugs and into the culture and into the music itself, which is, I think, what you were talking about, Seth, in terms of Doug Engel and Iron Butterfly. Because the early Iron Butterfly, we're talking in Agata de Vida here. We're talking about a band that they kind of tapped into something that was an interesting energy. The trouble is you can't sustain that in a commercial atmosphere. And where it was co-opted, that period, 1968, 1969, that was the tipping point of rock culture. You know, we're 50 years out now from when the Beatles released Sgt. Pepper's, almost within weeks. 
which in my opinion was the tipping point of the culture. That's when they said, we're going to push this thing right to the edge. They were, they were handing out LSD like it was candy. You went from Woodstock to Outermont in an 18 month period and the darkness descended. Right. Now, all of those are cultural landmarks to something that was going on astrally and probably even deeper in terms of the culture itself into darkness. Right. One, one thing about the dark shamans, okay, is that they, they condone these practices, okay? Mm-hmm. A lot of the shamanism out there is literally designed to get people keyed into these lower astral, upper astral grid works. True shamanism, the shamanism that we practice, is learning not only how to navigate through these grid works by healing out all of the hooks, all of the holographic inserts, all the implants, all of the uh, uh, programming within the chakra system. Okay. Um, You have all this etheric AI technology, and it's real. Okay, people need to understand the fact that this is real. It's not some spook thing or some, some fantasy. Okay, it's happening. Why do people die? Why do we suffer disease and sickness and all of that? Where in the beginning, humans didn't physically die. What happened? Okay, it does all go, go, go all the way back to the cataclysms, to the cataclysms, okay? But again, going back to what I was talking about, Lucifer's main objective is to keep us from remembering who we are. Yeah. So with this whole experiment, what, what were people getting leashed out into? They were getting leashed out into the astral grid works getting their genetics harvested, getting their life force sucked out of them, and then they were left to be fucking husks, right? And what do they, what do they have left? They had, they, they had the material world, and then, and then they became the worker drones, you know, that, that had perpetuated this slave shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's, not, and it's not to say everyone in that generation was a part of that. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, the evidence is quite, quite clear. Yeah. And so now, you know, you know, my generation, it's like, you know, I came in with this inner knowing ever since I was a child, you know what I'm saying? Because, because it's held within the soul codes. It's held within, within the genetics, right? At a, at a deep, 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 deep core yeah. level. And, and a child, you know, that, that's, why they, that's why they try to get, get the children at a very early age through indoctrination is so that they don't have a chance to explore these things. Yeah. Right? And now, and now it's like we're having to play catch up you know, not just for the last few generations, but, but even our generation itself, you know what I'm saying? And the level of warfare that I, that I personally faced and other people have faced has been immense because of all the buildup, because of all the things that are passed on in bloodlines, you know what I'm saying? And so, but that, but that's, if, if people want true freedom, if they want true healing, if they want, you know, the, the true bio, spiritual, organic regenesis, yeah. And then they're going to have to, you know, get, get past all of this shit. And then you got people out there like Terrence McKenna. All right. And, you know, like, like Timothy Leary, he's like a modern day Timothy Leary and the motherfucker is CIA out of the horse's mouth. And people still like, they're like, Oh, he's so wonderful. Are you kidding? You know, it's, it's, it's in our faces and they're even putting it out there now because they know that this is so far gone. That, that people are just, you know, all, all the level of willful ignorance and apathy that's going on. They, they, they could see, I could even give people the answer to the universe and they would piss on it. You know? Yeah. Like, like, the, like this is a sacred science. This is a sacred art. And the path, the path is you. you it's about you remembering who you are, why you incarnated, the, the true history of what's really going on, the hour we are in right now. And then what's potentially meant to unfold? Because you got you had four main timelines running um, on these spirals that I'm talking about. Um, this this spiral energy, because <clears throat> you, you have the one that's expanding and life giving. Yeah. But then, but then you got the then you have the the, the closed spiral. system. There's right. one is, one is expansive and an open system and life giving, and one is closed and bumps you up against death constantly. Yeah, yeah, and so. 
there's been four main timelines that that have been that have been running for quite a while now. We're down to two, and the two the two main timelines are the one you just talked or are, are the two that you just mentioned. Yeah, those are the two t- those are the two main timelines that are running now. And within the next eight years, people are going to be given the opportunity to get back on, but they got to get it now because yeah. going into 2018, going into 2022 and 2025, it's that's when they're going to start, you know, pumping out all of this, uh, um, you know, biotech, AI, transhuman shit. You know, maybe, maybe they already are, maybe, yeah, right. And they are. I actually are. think I, you're I, an I optimist. Started. I actually yeah. think you're an optimist because I think it's much faster than that. I'm seeing it. Sure. It's such an accelerated no, I, I, race. I've already seen like surrogate robots and like the, the, these, uh, 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 yeah, man, it's, it's, it's fucked up, man. The virtual reality, did you ever see Lawnmower Man? Yep. Back in the day. Okay, they got that now. Okay, I remember, oh, yeah. I remember looking at, at, at books in elementary school and if, you know, what we're doing right now, being able to talk like this, like on a screen, fascinated me. The first time I saw it was in a book, though, and now it's reality. Just imagine with all with all the stuff they're putting out in Hollywood, especially what what's coming, you know, because that's oh, this, that's all this, this technology that's all, predict, that's all predictive programming, or, or it's all stuff that's already been here, but they're just now will, willing to let us know about it. Yeah, this is all cast off technology. Yeah. yeah, they got it stockpiled. I know they yep. got it stockpiled somewhere, just waiting to be rolled up because that's how marketers work. They 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 have their products and then they and then they put them out systematically at pace. It's like, or they 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 use them covertly. They, have, right. they use them covertly until it can no longer be denied that something is going on, and then they release it as something that, like under the guise something that is helpful, so that people will accept it and be excited about it. When really it's been weaponized decades before and been being used on them without their knowledge, uh, you know, until that point. It's like it's like Tesla tech. It's like Tesla yep. technology. It can be used for the benefit or for for the destruction of mankind. Because really, all magic, all all science, all of these higher occult sciences, I'll say, are a neutral thing with the energy force. Nikola yep. Tesla was a master of the energy force. Yes, he knew how it worked. He knew what the three nine six was. That's what they hijacked, though, man. And they, and and they hijacked the energy force of mankind. That's why the the solar plexus chakra is their main inroad. Because what why is the solar plexus chakra the main inroad? Because that's our will. That is our will. That is, our, that, that is the energy of our action. And, it, and if the energy of our action is on the inverse with the lower three chakras, all astral infused, then, then guess where the consciousness is going to be? And that's where they want to keep people. You know what I'm saying? So getting into the, into the higher occult arts and sciences will show the individual how to be able to do this. And be able to access the soul code genetics and and understand what's going on with the true history and the grid works and you know and everything i'm getting to getting ready to unpack in labyrinth and the nine bills it's so much though it's so much you guys to unpack and you know i don't know if people are ready really it really doesn't matter because truth is is the one that is you know the heart the higher force i'll say you know um you know instigating all of this you know, but, and, and it's there for the, for whom it's meant at the same time, if people don't catch it now, they're, they're going to be leashed out into all this transhuman shit that's coming. Well, we've said for a while that we think that we see what is effectively a split in the world system, which will eventually result <clears throat> in the drifting apart in terms of a consciousness, even in terms of dimensional realms that are going to split off, the timelines that resolve, obviously one spinning down, it's going to resolve to a null point. The other one is going to expand up. So what is effectively happening is all forces have to, at some point, reach zero state. Entropy? Entropy? So we're kind of, where's the entropic point in all of these cycles and who arrives at them has to do with where they are within the cycle they're engaged with, which is, you know, you could look at it as the splitting of worlds, 
um, the end of one world, the beginning of another, ends of ages. The metaphors are there to show us something about cycles that we are engaged in now. And I'm just kind of freely riffing off of what you're laying out here, but feel free to jump in where um, you have you have something that, that maybe updates what I'm saying. Well, we're, our kind, I'll say, are here to prevent another cataclysm. <laughs> it's pretty simple. There's, yeah. those, um, there's those in my inner circle that say we're living in the past, okay? And some of the things that I've experienced, it's pretty trippy. <laughs> yes, I, um, I actually but, agree with that. Yeah. Um, you know, but this is, according to what they're saying, we, we are in the past on this particular linear timeline that we are on. Here to prevent what already happens. And that, that's getting into like you know, a crazy sci-fi, you know, but, re- but really it's science fact. When, once you understand what's going on, because past, present, and future are all happening simultaneously. Simultaneously. The thing, though, with these spirals is that they're getting tighter and tighter and tighter. Yes. And everything that, that, that is not true is not going to pass through that gate. Yeah. If you hold on to that and you identify with that and you're not willing to let go and let, and, 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 and let it burn, then you're, good, then you're going with it. And that's right through the zero point. Not, yeah. And you're not going to make it through the period of time that we have right now. Me and Max Spears talked about it. He was taken out. Okay, this is this war is real. Okay, and other people I know have been taken out too. I've been brought to the brink, like I've talked about, and it really surprises me that 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 I'm still around. At the same time, though, with what I practice, these motherfuckers have to respect me, and we have to make them respect us because once you know the the game and what's really going on, that's when you can you can level up, make the playing field even, and then they go, oh, here's a worthy player. We can't just do whatever we want. We can't just come into his field and fuck with them because if we do, we're going to get our asses kicked. And that's the attitude we have to have too. Not like, Oh God, they're all powerful and they're right. not. They're not. Yeah. And, no. And, you know, you want to know, you want to know what's even more intense, more scary, more powerful is what I'm talking about. But, but the world has not, the world has not seen our kind for, for eons. And, but those are the codes that are awakening. Those are the codes that are awakening within me, you know, and, and lately, I have just been boiling, you know, looking, you know, it's just the same humdrum bullshit day after day, week after week, year after year. That, and you want to talk about cycles, right? Yeah. The, 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 the seasons, okay, the cycle of the seasons, that is an unnatural thing. Where, thing, where things are, you know, give, give birth, they grow, and then they die, and then the cycle happens again. It's reflected in nature what mankind has been caught in. Whereas in the beginning, the poles, the poles of the, of the earth itself were, were parallel and there was no ice caps. That, and, and so people talk about, you know, hollow earth. I know that's real. Yeah. Because it's a reflection of what's within. And yeah. you, look, you look at the heart center, the way a torus field works, the way the energy of a torus works, it's the same as the electro that's, right. that's, right. yep. the that's exactly what we've been oh. saying all along, Seth, with right. all this bullshit about flat earth, ball earth, and all the oh, yeah, yeah. rancor no, that's I've going on with that. Earth, man. Yeah. I've seen I've seen the curvature of the earth myself, everybody out there, all you flat earthers, I've seen it. Case closed. I've seen it in a <laughs> plane. It's yeah, that that is a psyop. And that that my friends is playing on the old codes that they're that, that that are going out. And so this shit's so embedded within the unconscious. Well, well let me just say this because it also hides it's, another it's what's aspect. Getting out. It's what's getting kicked out and then they're and then they, they come out with the you know cap, capitalizing on that consciousness and then getting people leashed out into this consciousness when it's already been proven that that is bullshit. So anyway, go ahead. Sorry. No, 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 the whole concept hides something else, which is the aspect of the tourist fields, which is the construct that we're in is far less material than I think most people understand. Yet at the same time, it has a material aspect. It's a representational system. Right. It's a projection of consciousness. Would you agree with that? Well, yes, I do, because everything in the universe is a mental projection. Everything, literally. Yeah. yeah. So 
it all goes back to the first cosmic law. What is your state of consciousness? Do you even know your own psychology? Do you know how your system mechanics work? Do you know how your body works and what it's actually capable of? You know what I'm saying? Tapping into that, yeah. encouraging that, empowering that. And it doesn't matter physical age, okay? Because the true core essence of who we are, you get into, you get into age regression, man. People that, you know, in Tibet that are, you know, 350 years old that you don't even hear about. Well, how is that possible? Because they know how to work with the energy force and they're just not, and they're not getting leased out every day, you know, being slaves, you know, because that, that slave consciousness is so embedded, man. Even though people think they know what's going on, they're still, they're still perpetuating it, you know, and I'm trying to break away from it with what I'm doing. You know, I got, I had to, I had to work in the morning and afternoon and I don't mind doing that because I don't, I don't mind working. You know what I'm saying? But I'm my own boss. I'm not, you know, I'm an independent contractor for doing that. And, and so I'm not a slave to somebody else's agenda or, or time or, you know, it's like, it's all actually, you know, self-actualized within me. And it took me a long time to manifest that. And now it's, now it's going to the blue flame healing arts and the cold signs. You know what I'm saying? And I've already, you know, I, I had a, uh, a talk with uh, James Bartley. It's going to be coming out. Um, talking about the wisdom councils coming together again. Okay. And speaking with Mark Passio, even recently, he straight up told me, he's like, if you're in your 30s, 30s 40s, 50s, we are the elders. Because because the the generation before us didn't get it, yeah. So that transfer yep. of power that's happening with the dark ones, you know, look at look at look at that generation and who perpetuated that agenda, <laughs> you know, that's that that was what that was who you know that generation had to look up to, you know what I'm saying? And then yeah, they had their they had their kick out in the '60s, right? But what the it's like what happened, man? They all ended up consenting. Because they got because they got that true soul code essence uh, ripped out of them. Well, in, in all fairness, and I have to balance this because I think yeah. I was yeah, fairly cool. I was fairly critical. Um, not all of any generation are taken out. In fact, I would argue to balance what Mark Passio said in that statement, and I would I would be more than happy to advance this to him that in every generation there are the hidden yeah yes and a lot of times where the hidden were they were the most wounded they were the most pillaged they were the people who were trod under marginalized and pushed into the sidelines therefore they are hidden in plain view the most terrifying thing to intelligence agencies right now is the emergence of their own little science projects that have fucking come out and said, you know what? I broke programming. I know yeah. who you are. And even worse, I know who I am. Mm. Yep. You know, I, I've said for years, you know, first off, it's a miracle any of us are alive. And I've been real close to death. And I've been, I've had demons taunt me and tell me I'm going to kill you. And I'm like, go ahead, kill me. Take me out. Make me a god. I'm coming back. I will be your worst fucking nightmare. So to balance the argument, in every generation there are elders, there are those who are hidden and secreted away. And we, you know, I, I, I want to balance that because while right. I understand the spirit in which that is spoken, yeah. mm -hmm. there is an element to that which goes into ageism, which is just as wrong as sexism and racism. Yeah. You know, I think we need to acknowledge each other in the progression of the generations and honor what came before us. That's actually, right. that's actually law. Right. Yeah. And, that, and, that's, and that's what I mean about the wisdom councils. Coming yes. together. Those, those that know that they are, that they are a part of this need to come out now and really be that, you know what I'm saying? Cause nothing else. Oh, nothing no, no. Else. People need to step up on all sides. I agree with right. you on that. Right. I'm just saying, I'm saying in context to what we're getting at. Yeah. Um, that, that's what I've called for. That's, that's what I've been told to say from my, from my core. It's like, it's like really burning, you know what I'm saying? Cause I mean, both you and I had experience in ministry. Mm -hmm. right? And 
I've seen the seed of the dark Luciferians. People, you know, and there's so many well-meaning people that, that, that get involved, man. You know, but once, but it's like once I got into leadership and one, once I saw what was going on behind the scenes, oh man. The church it, it, is it, the, the, the church is the uh, synagogue of Satan. Right. And you so, say that inside of the church, you can kiss your ass goodbye because that's what right. happened to me. Right. And it was the same, it was the same thing with me. I ended up going back though and, and confronting it and actually, you know, earned a level of respect, you know, among uh, the people there. But I, but the things I was teaching was starting to get into, you know, a lot of what I'm actually talking about and how showing people how to make that connection. You know, it's like, how do I make that? Well, it's, a, it's not like a 12 step program. You know, it's, it's unique to the individual. You know what I'm saying? Cause, cause the way, the way, even the way our psyches work, this is individual based upon the astral psychology. You know what I'm saying? My moon's in Scorpio. So my thought and emotion, the root of that astrological tree is in Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? Somebody else's thought and emotion may be rooted in another type of energy of consciousness. You know what I'm saying? But these are the first steps, you know, and then you got numerology. They have the archetypes of the tarot. And then, and then, then you have the tree of life, the true, universal tree of life which i'm working to eventually be bringing forth working with the other individual i was talking about and completely destroyed the false kabbalah clip off in tree of death shit yeah completely proves mathematically that it is a, it is a system that is designed to harvest genetics to crucify it's a death individual. cult that's Absolutely. what i've called it for years right Yep. And it all and all of that and all of this what I'm talking about goes back to the Thothian sect and the Brotherhood of the Snake, who betrayed the who betrayed the wisdom councils, ripped open a wormhole in Sakura, Egypt, and let the fallen Anu in so that they could take over, which happened in context twenty six thousand years ago. And then and then came the pole shift. Then came the, 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 the great flood that everybody talks about. And then came the splitting apart of Pangea, which at one time all the landmass was together, right? And people want to, talk, want to argue that, you know, the origins of civilization and, and, and everything. It, it can, it, we're all from the great north because that's how we came in. We came in through the portals. We came in through the, through, through the electromagnetic spectrum of, of how things operate but then that but when the pole shift happened that's when they seal off the the uh the stargates and 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 we've been caught like it, and just recycled again and again and again and again and again that's why you come in you have certain memories of the past or past life recollection or you know future um premonitions you know what of what's coming in the future you know what i'm saying you know, it's like, who's to say what actual timeline that we are on? But the one that we are on now in 2017 is when all of this is meant to really, and I mean really, start to change. Because everything else up until this point, as far as what I can see, has just been a warm-up for what's coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I agree. It's I like agree. We're, just, we're, just, we're just getting our, our legs warm the last, you know, 15, 16 years. What was the first and, and show that we... We did and this, and that's, been, and that's been brutal enough, man. You know, but it's um, any, anyone that, that's made it this far, we have to see it all the yeah. all the way through. We've been we've we've been tricked other times into like you know we were on the right path, and we've been tricked into being distracted or getting even being lured into doing the very thing that we were supposedly fighting against. And this time, we have to not get distracted from our path and ride right up the you know, the, the time, the, the proper timeline, the zero point timeline that you're talking about. Yeah. And it's the, it's the zero and the nine. Yep. That is the whole of the vortex within the fulcrum of the circle of the magician. That is, that's, that's, that is how our kind access it. The dark ones use the circle in a way that is completely inverted and perverse. All right. They, that, that, that's where the evoke and invoke, you know, these spirits, these demonic hierarchies and stuff like that. And there's P and there's left wing brothers out there that are showing people 
how to do these rituals. I mean, it is all out in the open and people yeah. think it's a joke, man. It's not, it is, it's not, it's, it's coming out to the forefront. And so as far as I'm concerned, the path that I've been on and, and my cosmic, you know, heritage, because this, this does go back for me at least 300,000 years physically, 40,000 years with the, the Nordic tradition. And then you take it to the Druidic tradition. How far back does that go? You know what I'm saying? And so all of these codes, all of these memories are there. And we, we are the accumulation of our ancestors. We are the, you are the accumulation of every single person that has been within the bloodline. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then they got these DNA tests that people can go get. Oh, God. Why do you think they're doing that now? Because yeah. they're trying to track. There's, the yeah. Who, yeah, that, who's, who's got these codes because they don't know who's coming in. They, they've, yep. been, they've been able to scan certain people. I was scanned as an infant. I was targeted yep. yeah. right away. Yep. Like, yep. Yeah, all three of us. All three of us. Because of what I, I came in with. Yep. You know? Yep. I think and so. Go ahead. Do you, so what Randy and I talk about, and I think this is how it works for particular, I think that you're right. They're doing what they're doing with all those DNA tests to try and catch things that they may have missed. But I think for some of us, not only do they scan us when they're born, but they know we're coming. They, Cause we carry, we carry with us a frequency that they have been tracking from the beginning of, you know, when the, this, you know, system, when our system was sort of invaded and degraded, they've been tracking our frequency through incarnations. So they know we're coming in. And in some cases they actually genetically prepare a body for us to come into almost as a soul magnet to suck us into that. So they know where we're going to be and they can try and manipulate our skills, our talents, our memories, our genetics into you know, playing along with their agenda. And so the challenge becomes for us to wake up to who we are before they're able to completely manipulate that into something where we can't even recognize ourselves anymore. Absolutely. And that's the name. The name of the game is genetics. It always has been. And <clears throat> I mean, there's an idea that, you know, you can trade, you can trade knowledge, you can trade, you know, uh, certain things, you know, but when you're, de you're, when you're dealing with these new stellar races, okay, all, all of the, all of the shit that's coming in and, in and out of, of uh, like, say what people are seeing in the sky. Okay. That that's all the fallen. All of it, every single bit of it. There, there are no benevolent races that are coming in to save us. No, no. Yeah. I mean, that you were. This is like, this is like the biggest tripwire in the world, because we're grounders and we've been basically left to kind of twist in the wind on the on the Earth surface. We're in awe of anything that's in the sky. I mean, most of the craft that I have seen, with a few exceptions, I can attribute to military. Mm -hmm. But even so, yeah, the, the, ex, the extra dimensional craft yeah. are legitimate. I've seen them since I was a kid. I know the difference between them. There's nothing good there. There never was. The fact that they abduct, the fact that they do the things that they do, the fact that they have basically kept us under their boot heels, even though we are their superiors. This is, you know, this is where we come back to know who you are. Why in the hell, if we're so screwed, have we not been conquered? Yep. Yeah. Shout it, brother. Goddamn right. God <laughs> I saw it. I saw it <laughs> on your lips. I'm freaking right. out over it. Yes. Wish exactly. we had visuals now. Have to take back. <laughs> we have to take back cosmic jurisdiction. Yeah. yeah. There are there are there were tribes here in the beginning, in during the first, second, and third seating. You know, and, and human consciousness hails from Lyra, just so people can understand our cosmic origin of consciousness. All right. Tiamat Maldek was our home within the sector. Earth was a sea planet. It's always been a sea planet. It's a paradise, you know, but, but think about the billions of, of life forms that, that are here that once were here, even more than there are now because of, yeah. you know, extinction of, uh, you know, different animals and, and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? We, we, can, we can't imagine how it used to be. 
well, we can, we can try, we can tap into those memories, you know what I'm saying? But when the wars happened, when, when Tiamat was destroyed, that, <clears throat> that offset the, the, con- the planetary sphere of consciousness that was the bridge, that was the bridge point you know, to be able to pass, you know, through, through, through the metaverse, I'll say through, through the multi, when I say metaverse, I mean, multi, the universe on the multidimensional level. At the same time, there was, there was a point where we could go anywhere we wanted physically. And we had all of our other bodies intact and we were completely transfigured. You hear about the transfiguration. Well, what's that all about? You know, take, take it back to the, the true ancient, you know, uh, mysteries, which they kind of threw in there you know, with, with the gospels, man, but it does not show people how to actually do this. It's just a story. And then here comes Saul the Tarsus with his murderous fucking doctrine, you know what I'm saying? And completely, you know, hijacked through, through Judaism, mm-hmm. through the Talmudic Ju- Judaism, that, that the ancient mystery of, of, of what, what is time and memorial basically. Yeah. Going back to the to the very beginning, right? Which all of the tribes at the time still held intact within their cultures. But even but even before the cataclysms took place, that is where all of this is coming from because it was and it's all fragments of because we're all trying to, you know, it's like the 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 remnants of what once was was still present, but it but it's all fragmented. It's all bullshit, all of it, paganism, all religion, the new age, it's all fragmented. It's all bullshit. Yeah. All of it. Every single bit of it. What we're trying to do here is reassemble our bodies and reassemble the body. Yeah, absolutely. Right. I agree with you. So, yeah. the bri- so the bridge points within the chakra system to gain access to, to the conscious system I'm talking about that's beyond the barrier, getting into healing the fragments and, and, and the layers, is, is, uh, is, the, is the heart center. It's the heart center, the thalamus, and, and the, and the uh, throat chakra. Because those three, those three are fragmented off from the original template. The original template, the the core of the original template is the is the throat, the thalamus, and the heart as one, as one, all working as one, all bridged, all working synergistically, right? So from and and the thalamus, the thalamus is how we uh, get access to what's beyond the astral. All right. Yeah. And that's, and that's why they want to cut us off from the heart because you got to get to the heart first before you bridge to the thalamus. And then you got other people out there that are throat, uh, throat center sh- uh, chakra centered. And then they have to work from that point. And it's like, you can even look at that whole uh, paradox with the mind, uh, throat chakra being logic, heart chakra being emotion, essentially, you know, when it, when it comes to the mind and the, and the energy bands that come down there. Right. But the bridge point between the two is the thalamus. So you got so you got the spindle of the energy force within you, but it's been fragmented with the three, nine, six. And then that's when they get all these people on these feedback loops within themselves. The mind is split. The energies are split. And it's just, go, you know, and you got multiple personalities, too. I mean, that kind of stuff happens. Explain a little bit about the three, nine, six. I think I think this is worth pursuing a little bit, Seth. Sure. Well, in a, in a nutshell, it's it's how they have been able to triangulate our reality field into the death cycles that we have been in uh, with this astral tech that that literally is the astral barrier. You can throw the frequency fence in there too if you want. You know, and, and these are just terms to explain what I'm what I'm talking about. Um, so the way it works though is it's through the chakra system like i'm talking about and i often do i i do often say this as well that all is within us right everything if the, everything in the universe is a mental projection then it's all happening within us first yep. the as above so below is the same as as within as without okay so the the, thir- the 396 triangulation is happening at various sectors within the chakra system. You have the, you have the lower three chakras, which we call the hard quadrants. There's a triangulation happening there. There's a triangulation happening up, 
up in the uh, in the centers that I was just sharing with you with the parts and the um, and the throat chakra, and then and then you got another triangulation going on uh, with 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 what we call the upper triangle. Okay, so it's these three, but the way, but the way that it heals and all comes back into alignment, you got you got to work with the triangulation that's happening with the hearts and, and bridge that consciousness within you to be able to you know kind of break apart you know the the pull the the polarization you know it's 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 what it's the cause point for polarity right because they manipulated the positive and negative charge of the energy force right because because they stole the secret of the, of the arc the secret of the of the, the energy right what was the arc of the covenant it was a fucking weapon yes, it shot it out electricity right yeah you got yeah. you got the jedi and you know being able to shoot electricity out of their hands you know, in Star Wars, man, all of this goes back to, to what I'm talking about with the energy force, right? And we can access this, right? But that's but that's what I talk about taking when when you take back the nine within yourself, that's when you take take control of the spindle of yeah. this reality field. It's like it's like because because the way the energies are working as above, so below, as within, as without. <clears throat> when you when you take back your own energy force. That's when you come into alignment within the vortex. Yep. And the, and the nine and the zero and the zero are in alignment, and then you're able to travel. Yep. Through all of this fucking shit, without being leashed out, and that you know, and that that's eventually what happens when someone reaches a certain point of healing. They're able they're able to yeah. navigate these grid works without getting, you know, sucked in or or you know leashed out. You know, especially looking into all the information about about the dark occult. I mean, I mean, shit, man. It, it's, it's like, I don't know if it was Nietzsche that said this, but if you stare too long in, into the abyss, it's going to suck you in. If you yeah. stare headlong into that, into that void and, and, and you allow it to overtake you, it's going to suck you in. So people got to pull back from literally everything as far as I'm concerned and really, you know, recalibrate and go, okay, what are we going to do now? Oh, and oh. Getting, getting 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 into these arts and sciences it gives people the opportunity to really discover who they are and what our true potential is, man. Because I, I'm telling you, every every student that I've had so far, 100% success, 100%. So, so I want to ask you something and see if we're talking about the same thing. So sure. I do a lot of my personal exploration and and healing and growth in the visual space, and mm -hmm. so what I what I get is sort of like a, like a pole, like a tether. And then there's a spinning disc that sort of moves up and down it. I've described it as sort of being connected to my original self and the highest self that I'm trying to kind of get back to, but this time be one that not, is not going to be taken over and degraded like we were the first time. And then I have this spinning disc, the spindle you're talking about, and I'm able to sort of move it up and down there. I'm, I, it's sort of like it's the three and the six and I'm using the nine, which is the, spin, the spindle, right? The spindle, the spinning, right. wheel, spinning wheel of life force energy. Well, the three, the, three, the three and the six are the so, positive and negative. Right, that's what I'm saying. And then, right. Energy force, right. right. And then I have the spinning disc that, that I use <coughs> and it's sort of, I am able to navigate throughout whatever grid I'm looking at because I get, you know, hyperspace kinds of grids, but always like how I know that I'm connected to myself and not sort of lost is I can always find that tether and the spindle. And I use that to sort of weave my way in and out of these sort of spaces awesome. that I'm looking at. Is that what we're yeah, talking about the same thing? Yeah, absolutely. It's absolutely talking about the same thing. All right. and, the, and, the, and these are the arts and sciences that are going to be at the forefront in, in, in the coming, you know, weeks, days, months, years. And it all, it all goes back to the original. It's, and it's all coming back to the original. And our ancestors even knew that the time that we're in right now would, would come. And they spoke of it. When, when, the end of, when the end of the death cycle came, when the end of the fifth cycle came, that is when the sixth root race would be seated. And, that, and we are right now in 2017 at the very, very beginning of that. Think about all the stuff we've been through. What, why? Why have we had to burn through all this stuff? What is it leading up to? And see, even what I'm talking about now isn't the arrival point. No. It's just it's just a step along along the process, okay? Because because what what's beyond this? It's honestly it's never happened before, and I don't know how it all comes together. I've called for the wisdom councils to um, they're coming together. Come together. 
You know what I'm saying? But 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 again, that's what all of this is. You know, because you get into soul groups, you get into you know soul cycles and stuff like that. And in the way it trickles down, I mean, there 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 are a lot of us out there that that do hold the same core consciousness within us, and that's why you know you resonate with this or you, this you know you repel with that. But at the same time, all all of the soul cycles are collapsing in on these spirals. Okay, and they're all and it's all trying to come back onto the original timeline that, that mankind is meant to be on. Right? But it's gonna take completely detaching from from everything and 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 working to you know build something else. You know, going up and fighting them. They got they got nukes. You know, you got the, all this shit going on with North Korea. And I predicted all, all this going on in North Korea with, you know, Russia and Iran and, and Syria and <clears throat> everything that's going on. I, I predicted everything that's going on back in 2010. There are videos on my channel that are not public, but a lot of people laughed at me back then. Now look at what's happening because these same, it's these same cycles, man. And you notice even in your life, even in your life, certain cycles, yeah. certain thought patterns, certain emotions that come up. We're all in these cycles, you know, that's like, oh, he's crazy. You know, and then they do this. Yeah. It's, 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 it's interesting how certain, certain particular thoughts and thought cycles and behavior patterns and whatever seem to cycle back at the same time parallel to one another and what is the connection between the two and that's something i've really been looking at lately like, yeah that's yeah. yeah that's interesting because it's it's obvious if that's happening that whatever is being healed out isn't all the way out yet yeah. you'll, go, you'll go through the same alchemical process of, of nigrado albedo you know and, and then and then the reddening some people throw the yellowing in there eh, i'm not really <laughs> into the yellowing because I just, you know, this is just how I am. But anyhow, it's you're going to go through the alchemical process through whatever you whatever you need to heal through as many fucking times as you need to until you have mastered it, or until you've transcended it, or until you have integrated the shadow. You get and that and that's the thing about shadow work. I mean, you have the, the shadow is is a part of who we are, and if people cannot see their own potential for the ultimate evil. Yeah. They will never be free from it. Oh, I'm a good person. I would never do that wrong. You're doing it to yourself. People are doing it to themselves every day unconsciously. And then we wonder why the world is the way that it is. Why Here's relationship what, check this out. Anything. This is what I put up on Facebook about three hours ago. And this did just, you, did you throw some over to me, man on the chat? Uh, I, I no. sent something to both of you on the chat a little while okay. back. I just want okay, you to take so you, a look at that later. Yeah, yeah, right, we've got ahead. the link there. The Emerald Guardians. We'll, to, we'll put yeah. that up with the podcast so that the listeners can hear that. This is just I've been doing Facebook blurbs just basically to try and trigger um, thought. And this was what hit me this afternoon. Polarization language is just masked victim status, which is really the way I see all of this going. You know, we've got all this polarization right now, which is basically accusatory. It's designed to bifurcate. And yet at the same time, the people that are pointing fingers are actually in a state of victimization where they are not empowered, where we're basically, we're still fighting symptoms. We haven't even looked at the disease yet, which goes into the practicality of all of this. You know, I'm looking at the time winding down. It always happens like this. The time compression kicks in. And that last, that, that last segment that we do kind of gets intense. But people will hear this. And we've talked about a lot of concepts that I think are familiar to the listeners of this show. I also think we've hit on some things that we've maybe not explored before. But in terms of the practicality of this, for the person who resonates with what we're saying and is earnestly trying to advance in this, where do they go? You know, I've made this statement before. I'm not interested in making this a better matrix. We've been in the goddamn matrix forever. 
I'm not interested in proving it. I can't give you a better monetary system. I can't give you a better government. I can't make your teeth whiter, your hair straighter, your car shinier, or your dick harder. I'm sorry. That's just the way it goes. Sorry, Emily. <laughs> I know, hey. <laughs> it's just, that's the way it goes. Because that's what people You're really just want. Because my hair is straighter and my teeth are whiter. Than <laughs> Your teeth are very white. You yes. me my dick can't be harder. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so at, the same, at, the, at the same time, <clears throat> I would I I do agree with what you're saying, but at the same time, we didn't incarnate to be slaves to this matrix. We well, no, exactly. I agree with that. Master, you know what's going on, and okay, so the the victimhood mentality um the fact is is that we you know human humanity has been victimized you know it's not like that like that trauma is there at the same time though this is what people are going to have to go into and heal if they want to tap into that true empowerment that and, you know be, being encouraged beyond all these things and face and facing the pain of that not just the, not just the pain of, of what um they they've experienced in, in, in their lives but but it's it's like people can't even deal with that, and then they want to go heal the ancient trauma. You, you get ready, because that because that that level of pain and experience is beyond it's beyond insanity. I literally went mentally insane. I hope that people don't have to have that experience. You know what I'm saying? But that victim mentality is there because you know. And I was listening to Michael Tassari on that. I have high regard for that man. He he said that you know it's like it's like yeah humanity has been victimized, but the reason why there's this angst is because justice needs to be served. At the same time, though, they've given us their consciousness. They've given us this slave, this slave clone drone, you know, split within the mind with the with the three nine six, and we're polarized within ourselves because really to be empowered. Like, like, like we're getting at you had to, you had to be in control of your own energy force. It's the macro to the micro energy force, creator source. Um, you know, and, and yeah, but that, that victim mentality, it's, it's almost unbelievable how it's been projected on an unconscious level, especially among the networks. I mean, I mean, any little tiny thing will trigger somebody out and then they're off to the fucking races, man. And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, you know? But that's but that's what truth also at the same time is meant to do. It's meant to trigger out all this stuff. And so I, I see I see being cathartic, man. Being cathartic and yeah. like you've got to yeah. scream and break shit and fuck it, fuck it. I was a death metal vocalist for 15 years. I wonder <laughs> why. <laughs> this is why. This is why. And 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 it's like. That's how I got it out. That's how I got that pressure out because it's all of this energetic pressure, like wanting to, you know, us to just cave in on ourselves and devour ourselves and devour one another with this whole victimhood shit. And then, and then, and then we become the perpetrator because we're so self-murdered, well, you know? And, it, and, and it's, it's also, just, people are almost compete. Like I love, uh, there's uh, a guy that I listen to who calls it the oppression Olympics. People are almost competing to see who is the bigger victim. Right. Yeah. And I, ta and I talked about that last year after Max got taken out, and it, it, it was part of the chaos magic. It was part of the spell cast that went out. Yes. Yes. More, Thank you for yeah. pointing. Yes. To create more division. Yep. And everything I said in that video, I meant it. I still mean it. To that was actually the video where you and I first came to know each other. Yeah. And yes. I think you know, at that time, there was so much passion ignited around that whole sequence. I just had a conversation with Shane the Ruiner this afternoon about this exact same thing with the chaos magic that, that's, that's been occurring. Right. Because that was, that was a high energetic ritual cycle that was worked at a very key strategic point by very high wizards. It was a sacrifice and it was also a means to introduce that chaotic energy, which has frankly never stopped pulsating inside of the, the networks themselves. Right. Right. And, and during that time, because me and Max were going to come back and, and do some more segments, you know what I'm saying? Getting into the dragon and the key. What's the dragon and the key, you know? 
yep. you know, getting into the parts and all the, all the stuff I put in that, that particular video. Um, but people don't understand how ancient this war is. There's those of us that have been on the front lines. I'm one of them. Max is one of them. You guys are obviously there too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're this, time lords, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a time. I'm a. I'm a traveler of time and space. As very well. much yep. so. Yeah. And so, this this is all very ancient, right? You talk you talk about a ritual taking place, right? I saw it happen, man. They 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 came at me as well. Because they knew what was about to happen. They knew what was coming. And this is what everything has been leading up to. I don't know. I don't know the full essence of who I am or what I'm capable of yet or what, what all of this means for me. You know what I'm saying? But there's just too much evidence and confirmation to deny what is actually happening right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, when these battles take place, um, you know, they, 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 there's been negotiations that have happened, I'll say, on higher realms since then. I've been a part of, I'm a part of, I'm, I'm part of the, the, the councils on higher realms, so is Max, so are some of us. I think you two are as well. Because in truth, the wisdom councils are all meant to manifest here in the third dimension, as above, so below. Yep, that's what we're doing. That's what the whole process of this is. And they don't want certain people communicating. They don't want certain people coming yeah. out. And, and, you know, on tag team and it's like, okay, you're, it's like, it's like, we got, we have, you know, we're going three ways here. You know, we're like a triple fucking threat here. And then you got some panels coming on. People got like, you know, five or six people, you know, some got more that's getting a bit excessive. You know what I'm saying? But, but that did, you know, these little cell groups and these cell conversations, boom, it's, it's putting this, you know, initiative out. Right. And, So what happened to Max is very, very fucking unfortunate. I, I wept. I wept for my brother, you know, and and he knew who I was. I knew who he was. And, and then it's like we had, we had a chance to be able to connect. He was over in the UK. I'm over in the States. We all are where we are. You know, but with the advent of everything that's going on, it's coming together even more. You know what I'm saying? And not in some, some like hive minds, you know, uh, hierarchy fucking way it's it's a round table right yeah like the knights of the round table shit you know it's the hall archival everybody's got to say and we allow truth to be the master because truth is going to confirm yeah for all of us which which obviously it is in this conversation as well so but yeah the chaos magic that that went out and it's still kind of you know um lingering I mean, right there, it's it's like you you can tell right away. Even going back that going going back to that time when that when that ship went down, who was hooked in and who wasn't. The ones that were, man, they lost it. And then and then and then and then they wanted to get all of us to fight one another. Yeah. To to ah, you know this and I just, I was I pulled back from all. I was like, man, this is fucking crazy. And I was like, how how do people not see what the hell just happened? It, it still blows my mind, even now. Well, it's a microcosm of the larger scale world where these things are playing out daily. Look at the look at the elections last year. Right. Look right. at the psyche. You know, look at the psyche of of the country, the U.S. In terms of how heavily fractured it is now over the traumas that came out. And yet what came out in the midst of all that were some very important revelations about our own system that has to do with ritual child abuse, pedophilia, and the absolute corruption of the system itself stuck right in the face of the American people who turned around and went, well, I need to vote for somebody. The language of victimization boomeranging. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a lot of reverse psychology tactics that, that they use. Hollywood's one of them. Sure. Uh, yeah. Straight up, they're 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 letting you know left and right what's what's really going down. And yet, oddly <laughs> enough, look at their economic model eroding by the week as the new media begins to eke away at their power structure. Right. Just as it did with time. the recording industry. 
Yeah. At the same time, though, I there's there's got to be people that that are that are in alignment with the ultimate good because there there have been there has been stuff coming yeah. out that that's ironic and it's like okay, this is obviously going on there too, right? Hollywood, you know, was was what the dark ones used to make their wands out of. So, yep. Yeah, well, exactly the waving of the wood, you know, the Hollywood magic, yeah. you know, Disney magic. Who owns mm. who owns fucking Hollywood? Disney. They own all the media. So people are going to have to get into some level of everything that, that I'm getting at with the higher occult sciences, if we're going to have a chance, because the first layer, the first layer that you, that you come up against with, with, the, with the, uh, you know, within your chakra system that's embedded around the, the core of the chakra, the first layer of the perimeter is the black magic. You know the set, you know, and then it goes into all these different layers, and it go, and then one of the main layers within the perimeter is the collective unconscious. Good luck with yeah. that. <laughs> Good luck. Good, you you can't you can't even deal with the first layer, which is black magic, and you want to talk about collective consciousness. We're all one. Yeah, fucking right. We're all one in context that we have been conditioned to be slaves. Right, because certain generations didn't catch it, you know what I'm saying, and it's not to say that that it can't be caught, but but it's like it has to happen now. It has to happen day to day. Keep going. Don't give up. Don't quit. You're gonna get tired. You're gonna get weary. You're gonna want to quit. You're want you're gonna want to cave in, and that's why all of us need to be encouraging and empowering one another instead of ripping each other apart in these networks, man. Like. Like imagine, imagine the energy that would go out of if everybody had that state of mind. You know? I don't disagree with that at all. Yeah. At the same time, there is the aspect of guarding the fortress from within. And I don't think you would disagree yeah. with me in that no. we have been heavily <sighs> infiltrated yep. by paid agents and intelligence officers. And we have also let's just say smelled our own underwear a little too long. And some of us are very in love with ourselves. Sorry. My language is what it is tonight. It's just, no, have at it, brother. I, I, I just, you know, having come off of nearly a month of dealing with what I consider to be some of the top tier infiltrators in this, in the system, yep. you know, I'm willing to wield that sword pretty Definitely at this point, even though I know that it does create divisions and I know that it introduces a certain note of uh, discord within the communities. I'm also seeing as a result of this recent um, schism, a great deal of solidarity coming together yep. where people have said, you know, somebody finally needed to say that. And this is, this is not self-congratulatory. I, I got pulled into the vortex of a much bigger system in all this. But having said that, I think we need to keep our own system impeccable, clean. Yep. We need to check our own energies. We need to check the energies of each other and the people around us. And there has yes. to be accountability within the communities. Yes. And it has to be, we, we should want that. Right. We absolutely, you know, you should be able to, to say, you know, brother, I sense there's this thing here. Let's deal with this. That's the aspect of healing that most people don't want. That was actually the what I saw in the church was that everybody else wanted to to follow the the, the example that was given by Jesus. They wanted to pluck the splinter out of somebody else's eye while they had like a nine foot beam coming out of their head. Right. You know. So. <laughs> Everybody else is wrong except me. Yeah. And and and, that, my, and that's and that's narcissism, man. Yes, it um, is. People that aren't, you know, willing to take the heat. It's like there's a lot of people that can dish it, but they can't take it, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's like once the once the true light shines on them and they gotta face the mirror, oh it gets it gets nasty. And that, but that's what it all comes back to with with this. Because we can sit here and point the finger at the fallen Anu, the Illuminati, whatever, until whatever fucking happens. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to change. 
the way it's going to change is when we start facing the mirror, when we start facing ourselves and detaching, taking back our power, not fuck that, not taking back our power, claiming our power. Yeah. Because they only have power, but they, and the only power that they have is what we give them. Because they themselves are not self-sustaining; they can't right. connect back to the higher like we can. That's no. exactly they, they, right. Yeah, they yeah. need us to do that's that. That's why. Yeah. That's why yeah. there's such a war on for what I'm talking about. Because once people start tapping that, and they realize, oh my God, I'm more powerful than them. Yep. Game over. That's it. They can't. They can't do any of the shit that they so do without us. What is so the simplest way? that we can convey these things to people, you know, cause, cause all of it is so complicated. You get into the grid works and you know, the, the nine veils and everything I'm going to unpack and, and stuff like that. It is, it's so much to unpack. What I'm going to be doing though, is giving people the map through all of this bullshit. That is what it's going to be about. Yeah, I'll, I talk, think- I'll talk about the grid works and everything that's going on. So that people have an idea of what out to look for. Of, of what to look out for because you got to watch the flanks you got to have people that got your back and watch the flanks because this is a war right yeah. and what did Sung Tzu say Sung Tzu one of the greatest generals of all time mm-hmm. if you know yourself and know your enemy you need not fear any battle yeah yeah so, no I think I think the best way for so us I think I think we know how the en- enemy operates but do we know how we operate that's the other half of the equation, I think, when it comes to where things are at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. And I was going to say, you asked what the best way to convey this is to, to people is, and I think the best way to convey it is just to model it ourselves, to be it and to, you know, sort of live that with everything we do, um, uh, knowing ourselves. You know what I mean? Make that our primary, you know, endeavor is to be in completely in alignment with who we are. And I actually think you hit on this earlier. We touched on it lightly. It's something that Emily and I and some other people have been talking about as well. To go into the complexities of explaining, you know, all the grid work and the nine veils and all of the ritual and the initiations and all of that, that's overwhelming. The arts are the way that you begin to convey this. You bring back the arts, the communication with sound, the communication with vision, the communication of the dance. Yep. And you begin to work on the subconscious level of the psyche in such a way that stimulates the remembering. We're forgetting something. This is really critical. Most of our knowledge is the quickening of what we know inside of us that's been buried yeah. under the sands of ancient history. The things we need to know are the things we need to remember. Those are the child aspects because the child coming in, as you pointed out earlier in the show, is the purest form of knowing. It's pre-verbal. It's pre-expression through the physicality. And it has not been conditioned into the 3D simulacrum that we're living in. And so I think it's important that we stimulate the knowing by using all the modalities of communications emanating from the arts. I mean, you talked about singing death metal earlier, you know, and it was a form of music that I originally found repulsive. And eventually, because of my children, came to understand that this was an art form in terms of catharsis and the outworking of not just rage, but passion and actually beauty at a certain level Mm -hmm. to the point where I could then listen to it with an appreciation. It's like, I know rap has been co-opted, hip hop, it's now hip hop, but there was a purity. It's all been co-opted. Yeah. Even even the death metal scene, I mean, the majority of what the content of of what's in the lyrics, man, is is completely fucking evil. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All, all, all but, that, but, but that, but that's 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 that that's that cathartic energy on the inverted principle. When you throw it on the upverse, it's yeah. a force of power to break through any fucking goddamn barrier, whatever. Sure. And that's what, and that's why I love the hardcore scene because a lot of the hardcore music, the, the lyrical content, which the music carries, by the way, it's not the music, it's the lyrics that go into the unconscious. But the, but it's the beat, it's the music that drives that in. 
So with, with, with hardcore, it's, it's very life inspiring, life giving, you know, the, you know, you know, bands like Madball and um, Hoods and um, Death Before Dishonor, some of the, some of the bands I, that, that I'm into, um, they, they talk about the, the corrupt system that, that, that we're dealing with. And so, yeah. but it was all underground. It was all this underground like vibe, but it was very passionate and very cathartic, you know, and it's, and it still is, you know what I'm saying? So that, so that energy's out there, but then there's those that get into the conspiracies and they start studying. That's what happened to me. Right. And then I start putting this shit in my lyrics and, and, and people at the time weren't ready for the level that I was talking about. Cause it's getting into, you know, all of the fallen and you know, what's going, what's really going on with the sorcery and, you know, all this lower tier stuff that we're talking about, the geopolitical games that are going on, that's all lower tier, but because they take orders from, from the, the brotherhood of the snake themselves. And nobody knows who they are. People talk about Pindar, right? Who the fuck is this guy? You know, are these just titles or, or, or is it disinformation to give us the illusion that these people have any sort of power, right? Because really, they, they, they are so unbelievably weak right now. Look at, look at all that they have to do. Look at all, everything that they have to do to keep us locked down, just mm-hmm. on a physical level. Just on yeah. a physical level and then, and then take it to the thought and emotion, right? Just on a physical level. It, it is unrelenting, yeah. all of the things that they have to do. That is how powerful we really are. Yeah, I, I always say it. I can't imagine being that kind of being that would, spends all of its time worrying about controlling what someone else is doing. We must be super powerful if there's someone out there who's willing to spend all their time, you know, right. trying to make sure that we don't do this one thing that they can't do. You know right. what I mean? So, right. Yeah. And the one thing that they cannot do is connect back to the higher. Yeah. That's beyond all of this. And the other thing that they cannot do, and this is the delicate balance, they can't kill the they're, host. They're being given a they're Ironically, you guys, they're actually being given a, a chance. They're actually yeah. being given a chance. And, and that wasn't my fucking decision because fuck them. I have no empathy. I have, I have no sympathy for the devil, so to speak, at all. <laughs> ironically, though, ironically, it's ironic. They're giving, yeah. Some I, of them, some of them are kind of pondering. From from conversations I've been having and things that I've been seeing, I agree with you. I think but, there are some who are cons- who are you know considering. Um, I don't know if the word t- term is switching teams or trying or you know. Just, it's very it's very it's very strange, but I think that yeah, they're being given a chance, and it'll be interesting to see the choices you know going to be <sighs> danger. Get the fuck out. You know what I mean. I'm just saying when the way, when when the waves of the higher force really start coming, and people haven't been gathering their own oil, so to speak, up until this point, they're going to probably experience what I did back in 2000. I've heard people yeah. say people are going to go go crazy. Why are they going to go crazy though? Because of all of the of the toxic buildup within the chakra system that's that's astral infused, and then and it's like. And if people aren't, aren't burning, I mean, I mean, th- these these fallen are going to have their feast before it, it's actually all said and done, I think. But at the same time, we can't we can't those of us that know can't not say anything and shout it from the rooftops and, and, and at least, you know, give people the warning. You know, it's not it's not what I say. This isn't my truth. This is already being confirmed. I've already experienced it. And I don't want to have. To, I, don't, I don't want certain people to have to go through that experience. But as far as the dark ones and 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 the fallen, they're fucking done. They 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 they're seriously done. We just have to write it out now. They're done. They're already done. Their their jurisdiction and cycle. It's done. Right right now in 2017. Done. Right at the beginning of what could be, if we catch it. So. We got to stop giving them power. We have to stop seeing everything that's going on as something that we can't overcome. Yeah, no, I agree. We, we have to hold our center and ride the wave. And if we do, we'll be, it'll be good. Right. That's yeah. I think it's a good place to kind of, kind of wrap it up. This kind of, I, I think served as a real good introduction for, 
your material, Seth, and, and the material from the people that you are working with. And it's a way for us to open up the larger conversation over this this next year, certainly. You're invited awesome. back anytime, yeah. my brother, to awesome. uh, to can speak to the things as they as they as they, they unravel. Before we go, can you tell everybody where they can find you, your your website and your channels and stuff? Yes, the website is Black Earth Productions with a Z dot com. If you go onto the website, um, you'll be able to find everything there. Um, we have the blog Apothecia, which is written by my beloved. She's got a new one coming out here in a little while. Um, the services page is updated. If people are interested in, in the higher occult sciences and, and stuff like that, they can they can um, sign up for the, the full package session, which I'm actually giving a 30% off discount right now. And that, that also includes the Black Earth Productions Library. And you guys, I have literally thousands upon thousands of books in PDF form that I'm compiling um, that me and, me and my network, we're all, we're all putting it together. And it's so, so the people will have access, you know, to, to not just the, the material with the higher cold sciences, but pretty much everything that, that has really been made of cults that, that you can't find at your local bookstore. I mean, even some of the stuff that, that we're presenting is, you know, directly, you know, preserved by the Theosophical Society um, itself. So it's, it's a lot. And already it's, it's been very successful. Everyone that's set us up that, that wants to get into this sort of thing, um, the, the transformations have already begin to ha begun to happen. And um, again, it all goes back to the first cosmic law. It's all state of mind, you know, and really, you know, really ask yourself, you know, what is my state of consciousness really? What, you know, how, how are my thought and emotion being manipulated or am I really the master of it? You know, that's, that's, that's the beginning steps, you know, with all this, they can also check out the, um, the YouTube channels is black earth productions on YouTube. And if anybody wants to get a hold of me directly, you can send me a message at black earth productions at hotmail.com. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Seth. It was an amazing conversation. We look forward to having you back many times, and uh, we will oh, yeah. we will assemble the council here. <laughs> yes, I, I actually see a working that's beginning to form here, and uh, it is indeed awesome. Thank you again, my brother, for coming on. It was good when I met you in the flesh, and it has been awesome for the last two hours to sit down and and share uh, ideas, thoughts, and impressions. All of that. It's all good. Emily, you got anything you want to say? That's all, man. It was an awesome, awesome conversation, and uh, so glad we finally got to do this. And, yes. um, yeah, I can't think of a way I'd rather spend my Tuesday evening. So <laughs> Exactly. That's going to do it for this time. This is Off Planet Radio. The website is offplanetradio.com. I'm Randy Moggins with Emily Moyer. The truth that's out there is inside you. Keep dancing like nobody's watching. We'll be back with another show very soon. Good night.